Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with another vegan kind unboxing video. You guys seem to really like these videos, so I'm gonna keep going with them. And yeah, my box has arrived this month. It only feels like, I don't know, really not that long ago since I've done the last one of these. So these come around really quick. So I hope you're all doing really well. Um, April is proving to be a really wet, misty, weird, kind of spring month here in Essex. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but the weather definitely doesn't feel like spring and I'm kind of done with it, to be honest. I'm so glad I've got a summer holiday coming up around the corner because I feel like my face and just my body and everything is just crying out for sunshine. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I need that vitamin D. I need that sunshine on my face. <laughs> to survive. We are having a really rubbish spring in the UK so far and I'm not really a summer person, I'm much more of like an autumn winter person but I have to say this winter has dragged on too long and yeah I'm ready for some sunshine and brighter days. Just as well, any of you who are here for like the vegan food, um, have a look a couple of videos back and check out my vlog from the Vegan Nights event in London. It was such a good night. Um, and they've just announced their next date actually, I think it's on the 3rd of May. So if you watch that vlog and think you wanna go or whatever, make sure you head over to Vegan Nights London's page and book your tickets. I think it's five pounds a ticket, it's well worth it. It was such a good night. So much amazing vegan food. I can't really recommend it enough and I'm definitely gonna go back multiple times. <laughs> I, especially over the summer as well because it's such a cool venue and a lot of it's outside and yeah, if you have a chance to go this summer, I'd really recommend it. So this is TVK 54. This is their 54th box. And so if you watch these videos regularly or you subscribe to the Vegan Kind box yourself, you will know that 10p from every box sold goes towards a featured animal charity of the month, which is really cool and it's a really nice way of kind of giving back. Um, this month's featured charity of the month is Caras. Um, I'll link them below and they are an animal sanctuary with over 50 rescue farm animals and they're planning to move to a larger facility soon. So I'm sure this little bit of money from the vegan kind will be much appreciated by them as well. Um, you also get a recipe card in the box every month. This one is by Ginger Vegan and it's sesame crusted tofu with peanut dipping sauce. Yum e. That looks really good. I really need to master the art of cooking tofu because I'm just really bad at it. And then there's a certain way that I like tofu. I like it really kind of crispy and not really moist and soggy, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's crack on with diving inside this box. I will admit that this turned up the other day and myself and my husband Andy were particularly in the mood for snacking. So a couple of things got opened and we have had a nibble already. So this isn't like a complete off the cuff kind of first. Well, actually, I think, no, actually, I think there was only like one or two things I tried, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this in some kind of order and go from like savory to sweet because in my last one I done of this, I was really mixing up the flavors and stuff. And I think I felt a little bit sick afterwards. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and go like savory to sweet as I'm kind of taste testing as I go along as well. Um, so first up, we've got these coconut and rice puffs in Thai chili. And these are by a company called Ape. I have never tried these before. I have never seen these before, but it says on the back they're vegan, no added sugar, not fried, free from, added coconut oil, source of fiber. Um, so yeah, these are like a really good, healthy, kind of crispy snack, which I'm all about at the moment. I love hippies. Um, I love the eat real crisps. Yeah, I'm all about a healthy kind of crisp snack because when it hits about 11 a.m. or 3 p.m. in the afternoon where you just need a snack, that's what I reach for. I'm kind of hoping these taste more like chili, sweet chili, Thai chili, than they do coconut. Oh, they're cool. They're like little, these almost remind me of like the little tomato balls crisps that you used to get. Oh, okay. I think I read that thinking it said sweet chili, but it says Thai chili. So it's not really what I was expecting. That really does taste like Thai chili. 
that's quite incredible. These are really good. I'm not a massive fan of the flavour, I have to say. I think I would probably prefer these to be like even more like tomato y or sweet chilli. Thai chilli, it's got like a real fragrance to it, and yeah, I'm not sure that would be my favourite flavour for crisps, but as far as the crisps go themselves, these are really nice. And for anyone who cares for calories, these are only 114 calories per bag, so a good little snack. I'm gonna eat another one. I've just realised that everything is covered in sugar. I'll show you why in a minute, but <laughs> I've opened something, tipped the box upside down, and now everything is absolutely covered in sugar. Okay, next up we've got these snacks by a brand called Indie Bay, and they are sunflower pretzel bites with super seeds. I have to say, from looking at this packet, I don't feel like massively like, oh, I can't wait to try these. I don't know why. Pretzel bites, mm, I'm not sure. Says it's a good source of protein though, all natural, high in fiber, no trans fats, GMO free, 106 calories per bag, so another kind of healthy snack kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try one, but I don't know. I don't know why I'm not feeling excited by these. Oh, God, I really feel like this is like nothing I've ever tried before. I don't know what to expect. So they're like little balls and they're kind of covered in seeds and they almost look a bit glazed. Hmm, that's not bad actually. There's no real like, it's not really like a massive flavour. Mmm, they're quite dry. Wow, they're really dry. Um, it's almost like crunching on like a cracker or something. They're actually better than I thought they'd be. Um, I don't know, I'm just not sure what I make of these to be honest. I don't know why I'm struggling with these so much. They're kind of, yeah, like crispy, pretzel -y, seedy. They've just got like a real, no massive flavour, just like a crackery kind of dried pretzel flavour, I suppose. Oh, I was getting a bit of salt then. Not bad, not bad. Okay, next up we've got this mini organic cashew caramello which is a caramel-like sweet spread made from cashew, coconut, and vanilla. I almost feel like this should be like a peanut butter, but the fact that it's like got caramel in it as well makes it more kind of sweet than savory. I'm gonna dunk a finger. Oh my God. That is so strange and so Moorish. Just trying to gather my thoughts on this one. This is really yummy. I just don't know when I would eat it other than just like eating it out of the jar. Because it's like, it is kind of like peanut buttery or like cashew butter, what is it? Oh yeah, like cashew butter kind of consistency. And you can definitely taste that savouriness to it but then it's also got the sweetness to it as well. So I don't really know what I would do with this. I don't, I couldn't imagine myself liking this on like toast or anything. This is where I need to get out the menu card and see what it suggests because I just don't know what I would use this for. Okay, so it says on toast, dri drizzled over fruit or even eaten on its own with a spoon. I just don't think I would have this on toast. I'm not sure, but I've always been a bit funny with spreads. Like, so like the Biscoff spread, it's amazing. I've baked with it before and to eat out of the jar, it's amazing. But then I'm always like, but what would I actually do with it other than that? Um, Cause I don't, I'm not massively keen on putting like sweet things like that on toast, but this is really nice, really yummy, really different. Like I've not tried anything like that before. Okay, next up we've got this snacked banana bar. Banana key in the UK, apple and cinnamon kick. More taste, less waste. Um, another, another newbie. Let's dive in and see what this is all about. Okay, I think, oh, I don't know. I was gonna say, what's it got in it? Just bananas, apple, oats, pumpkin seeds, superfood boost of nutrient rich pecans and cinnamon. When I first bit into that, I was like, oh no, that tastes really 
like too banana-y and then the cinnamon come through and I was like hmm that's actually quite nice I'm not sure though I'm not sure about this it's almost a bit like like naked bar consistency but much denser and harder I don't know if them flavours are doing it for me I think the cinnamon's a little bit overbearing but some of you might like that one okay next up and something both myself and my husband were really pleased to see in this box this month are the candy kittens sour watermelon sweets these are so good if you've never had candy kitten sweets before they're so yummy and i'm not sure i don't think their entire range is vegan friendly although i did hear that they were going completely vegan friendly but i don't know if it's that if that's actually happened yet but i think they definitely have two or three flavors that are vegan friendly and this one is my personal favorite sour watermelon and such good value to get like a big bag like this in the box let's try one even though i've had a few of these mm. Mm -mm -mm. these are so good i think i like these because i'm not always a massive fan of like really sour sweets but these are sour but not to the point where you pull like a really funny face when you're eating them they're just like the right amount of sour okay next up we have got Black Fries Flapjack Ginger Choc Chip. A delicious oaty flapjack with ginger and chocolate chips. This is a beast. This is really heavy and substantial. I think my husband tried this the other night, hence why it's open, um, but I didn't. So I'm just trying to make as least mess as possible. I'm going in. That is really gingery. I don't think I've ever had a gingery flapjack before. Oh, I am literally dropping it everywhere now. That is pretty nice, actually. I, this is the sort of thing that I would like to have with like a cup of tea in the evening, just as like an evening sort of sweet treat kind of thing. It's good that it's got chocolate chips in as well, because I think if it was just the ginger and flapjack, it might not be as sort of yummy. Another new one to keep an eye out for. And so with this lifestyle box, there's always kind of generally like it's mainly food, but there's always kind of like one product that might be like a homeware product or like a beauty product or something. And this this month, I'm so excited because they've included a bamboo straw, which is something I haven't got, but I'm really excited to now own. So just some of the little blurb, it's perfect for any drink or smoothie, it's dishwasher safe hand wash to make it last a lifetime fairly and sustainably made there's a tree planted and protected for every straw sold so this looks like it's a collaboration between the vegan kind and the zero waste club i don't own a bamboo straw i have some of the metal ones which are quite good but i don't always like i don't know i don't always like the feeling of a metal straw and I also find them, especially with smoothies, I can find them quite difficult to clean. I know you normally get like a little brush to clean it out with. But yeah, I do, I do find them a little bit difficult to clean. That's all I will say. This is so cute. So this is what it looks like. Some of you guys already might have a bamboo straw. And they've like personalised it as well. So it says, be kind, go vegan along that bit. And on the back, it says the vegan kind and the Zero Waste Club. I'm very excited for this. I love it when this box includes stuff like this because I know this is just something I will get so much use out of and it will just be in my kitchen and I'll always reach for it. I think this is probably my favorite product in this month's box actually. Yeah, so I would definitely say that the Candy Kittens and the Bamboo Straw are my favorite items in this month's box. And I think, as always, there's going to be a couple of things that you might not love or be that crazy for, but it's all good. Like, you get to try and taste different things and, yeah, get introduced to new brands and stuff. So, and I have to say, like, even when I'm not sure about something in this box, it does always get eaten. Like, it will sit in the cupboard and there will be a night where we'll be like, oh, we haven't got any treats or anything. And... I'll remember that I have stuff from this box and it will always get eaten. Sometimes my first impressions of something might not be that great, but actually once I've eaten it or whatever, I might feel differently about it. But I think one of the main reasons I love this box is that it just, I love how it just turns up when I'm not really expecting it. I guess some of you might have like the delivery date in your diary, but I, 
I kind of don't, I don't really track it and I just always love the element of a surprise. I just love when it turns up and I'm not expecting it. And it's always like, oh, we've got a nice little treat for today and something to eat. Yeah, I always just think it's just really, really good value for money as well. So I'll leave a link to The Vegan Kind below and you can go and check out their website if you'd like to sign up. And the subscription's really flexible. If you fancy getting a box for a month and then canceling it, you can, or you can get it for a few months. Like it's completely up to you. There's, they don't like sign you into anything scary or anything like that. And the lifestyle box that I've just shown you is eight pounds per month plus three pounds 15 postage and packaging if you live in the UK or nine pounds postage and packaging worldwide. So yeah, wherever you are in the world, this box isn't only limited to the UK, they are doing worldwide delivery now. So yeah, if you fancy checking it out, definitely go to their website and place a little order. If you got this month's box, then comment below and let me know what your fave item was and what you loved and what you didn't like so much. So that's it from me today and I'll be back again in the week with another video. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. YouTube has really been playing up with how videos are appearing in people's subscription boxes. So I think the best way now, even if you're subscribed, the best way to be notified when I upload a video is to tick the little bell button thing. Um, because a couple of my videos have gone live recently, but they've not been appearing in people's subscription boxes, which is really annoying, especially for like a small YouTuber like myself. Let me know what other kind of videos you'd like to see. I am planning on doing another vegan weekly shop soon. I haven't been able to get around to it just yet, but hopefully next week or the week after, I'm gonna go to either Audi or Asda, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.